brand new C-Star S30 and today I'm going to be unboxing it, reviewing it and see if it's a great budget telescope. Alright, so we're going to unbox it right now. So here it is, the C-Star S30 Smart Telescope. Comes with a comes with a bunch of stickers. And the actual telescope itself in a bag. Alright, let's undo this bad boy. Alright, let's unzip it. This thing is very compact and it comes with a solar filter. So this is what comes in the box. We got the telescope, we have the tripod, we have a USB thing. And a C Star manual. So this is a really good thing so far. Just set up this tripod. Alright, so the first thing you want to do, well, this is what it says, flip it over and screw this on. Once it's on firmly, you got this, this, and this, and sit it down until it's flat. flat. Okay, let's take this thing outside. So this is what it looks like fully set up. I love the way it looks. And it comes with this little thing, and this is a soul filter. So, if it's going to be rainy at night, or if you just want to, you can use a solar filter on this to look at the sun. Alright, so this is how you set up. First things first, you need to download the uh, C-Star app, so you can control the telescope from there. Once you've done that, click on it. And you'll see a thing that says connect. But first, if this is your complete first time, there's a button on the heel and you have to click that to reset everything so it knows exactly where it is. And when after you've done that, you have to hold in the power button. Once it moves twice, wait till it says this. Powering on, ready to connect. Once it says that, you can now press connect. But first, you have to turn on Bluetooth. Then it will come out with C star something. Press connect. Press join, and now it's connecting. And once you're connected, you can click on solar system, stargazing, or scenery. Because we're not outside, I think I'm going to do scenery. And what it does is that it, you can take photos anywhere and track objects. For example, if I move the joystick, it moves it up. It can even it can even see everything up close as well, and that's how you set it up. Now let's bring it outside, and test it outside. All right, so as you can see, I'm set up outside the Seaside S30, and right now it's pointing out the Orion Nebula. I don't know if you can see this, but this is the live view. If you can't see it, uh, I'll show you right here. Okay, I just tested out the Seaside S30. And here's my view. First of all, it's a great beginner telescope. And if you just want something cheap, nice, and you don't have to worry about anything, this is definitely for you. And if you want to see nebulas, and sun galaxies, and clusters, and even the moon, this is definitely for you as well. It's very cheap for only $500, and I would definitely recommend it. It is now one of my favorite telescopes. And the results are just absolutely amazing. So I'll show you right now.